What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is... Today is the day. Today is the day we have all been waiting for. Well, okay. I've been waiting for this for pretty much a year, honestly, because the second Fenty released the Stunna Lip Paint, the original, uncensored, I did a review on it. If you have not seen that, I will link it right here on the screen. You can go watch that, but don't forget to come back and watch this one and see the rest of the new shades, okay? I absolutely fell in love with this lipstick that day. I have not put it down for a year. It's my go-to wherever I need to go and I need to look polished and I'm gonna be there all day. This comes with me, no question. If you've been here on my channel or following me on Instagram for any amount of time, you probably already know this. It's just, it's just the best. And I know that you guys are pretty excited about it too because I have gotten probably, I don't know, like a, a, a large number of DMs, comments, random Instagram comments on other stuff asking if I'm going to be reviewing these shades. So clearly you guys are pretty pumped for this too. So the plan today is I'm gonna swatch all five shades. Even though obviously I've already done a review on the original shade Uncensored, we're gonna swatch it anyway because that way if you're new to the product and you wanna see all the swatches as compared to each other, then it'll be there for you as well. I'm gonna swatch all the shades in order from lightest to darkest, and then I am going to go about my day wearing this shade right here, which is called Uninvited, which is a pitch black shade. And honest to God, um, I know I joked in the last video that Rihanna is a member of the Illuminati because otherwise I don't see how she could put such magic in her lipsticks. But if this lipstick lasts all day, a black lipstick, like while I go eat salad and like run errands and shit, it, it's confirmed. It's absolutely confirmed. And I do plan on going to one of my favorite cafes for lunch or like a late lunch, early dinner and grabbing a salad. And if you do not know this, this is a fact, it's science. You could look it up scientifically. Salad is the arch nemesis of lipstick. Look it up, I'm telling you, it's in journals. Before we get started on the swatches, please do not forget to subscribe if you're new here because hello, that's the best way to stay in touch and know when I upload and all of that stuff. And even if you're not new here and you want to know when I upload, it's probably not a terrible idea to turn on post notifications. You know, I know it's a lot to ask and I'm not going to force you, but if you feel like you want to, I would be fucking thrilled. And one more thing, if you don't mind taking a second, just leave a like on this video. Uh, it really helps me out and I would super appreciate it. And uh, I will love you forever and ever. Okay, I can't wait any longer. The anticipation is killing me. Let's zoom in and swatch all five of these shades. shades somehow every single one of those shades is kind of flattering and maybe you disagree with me and you think one of them look terrible on me I will wear every single one in that collection I think every shade is somehow super super beautiful I think this is gonna be like my daily go-to liquid lipstick collection the one thing I did notice is that the black shade that I'm wearing right now it's not quite as absolutely effortless to apply as the other shades are every other shade it like swipes on perfectly and there's not a single patch not a single section that you can look at and be like oh i could probably go over that twice there were a couple of spots when i applied the black that i wanted to go over them again just to make sure they were completely opaque but once i went over it, it layered very very easily it's still very light and it looks even and nice on the lips now in case you haven't seen another review or my original review or haven't tried these before at all i do want to mention that these are a liquid to matte liquid lipstick but 
they don't ever completely become transfer proof. They do transfer as you wear them throughout the day. So you get a little bit, if you kiss somebody, it'll get on them. If you drink something out of a cup, it'll get on the cup. But the extreme pigmentation in them allows them to stay on your lips. Even though you're losing a little bit, there's so much pigment on your lips that it's still there like eight hours later. We will see if that is the case with Uninvited because I'm wearing it right now and I'm gonna continue wearing it throughout the rest of the day and I'm gonna bring it with me just in case because I do have to be out in public. According to my laptop over here, it is currently 2.32 p.m., which means we are starting the wear test. We'll just call it 2.30. What I will do is check in with you guys in a couple hours before I eat and then after again, and then probably once more before I either take it off because it has run its course or go to bed for the night. That's the plan. I'll see you in a bit. Let's do it. It is 3.45, which means that I've been wearing this a little over an hour and a half. So, so far, when I came into the car, um, I, I did have I had a little coffee, so the little sister sips probably didn't help the situation, but what I'm noticing is that already, even just with the coffee, first of all, I have a serious case of butthole mouth going on. See that? There? But it's weird because it seems like, I want to zoom in, hi, hi, hi there, like kind of breaking up in places where it shouldn't even be breaking up already like here see there I don't know if you could tell in this light but it's like kind of patchy what's interesting is uh not only did this color feel different than the rest of them when I was applying it this color also feels different when I'm wearing it it definitely feels more dry and not as like smooth and silky as the other ones do well I mean the only one I've worn for an extended period of time is uncensored but the other ones felt like uncensored when they were applied, so I would assume that they probably wear the same as uncensored. But uh, that's where we're at. I'm, I'm thinking that this one might be because of, you know, the black pigment in it or whatever. It might be a little bit different than the others. And uh, maybe, maybe not 100% is popping. It's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not wearing terribly. But I'm not really hopeful for this salad that I'm about to go in and eat. So we will see. I will definitely update you after I eat because... That's the test, girl. Fingers crossed because I'm going to look super unattractive if uh, this comes halfway off while I'm eating my salad. Uh, that's the case. We might just have to reapply. So stay tuned. Fingers crossed. Pray for you, girl. It's 440 and this is not looking cute. This is a no from me, dog. Now, here's the thing, though. I'm not satisfied with this wear test, okay? Because this one seems different than the other ones, and I feel like it's not giving me an accurate representation of what the other shades might perform like. So here's the deal. I'm gonna go ahead and touch this up now because I look not my best. And tomorrow morning, as I begin editing, because I have a big editing day tomorrow, I'm going to apply one of the other shades, probably one of the more nude ones, and see how that wears throughout the day because they felt more like the uncensored shade when I was applying them. I have a funny feeling they're going to wear more like that. That way we get an accurate representation of what they're all like because I feel like this one's like, I feel like this is the dud of the bunch because I felt like it was not as good when I was applying it. So that's the deal. That's the tea. We're going to do a part two of the wear test tomorrow. This was not the plan but that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna go touch this up so I can uh, feel my best and, and, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. Well, it's not really morning. It's 12.01 the next day and today I am wearing the color Uncuffed. Um, basically, I just redid my makeup real, real simple because I'm just gonna be home editing most of the day, but I really felt like I needed to try another one of the shades. So I am going to try to wear this for as long as I can throughout the rest of the day. So basically, it's pretty much exactly noon when we are beginning this wear test. I literally just finished my makeup two minutes ago and I will check in with you guys probably after the next time I eat and I will definitely check in with you guys before I leave to go to the gym around five o'clock. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it on throughout my gym experience, which by the way, uh, if you're not familiar with my previous videos, usually I go to spin class for 45 minutes and then 45 minutes of, what is that alarm? Okay, that was weird. 
Again, I go to 45 minutes of spin and then 45 minutes of yoga. So any makeup that lasts through that is like really doing the most. So um, <laughs> after that, I will let you guys know exactly how I feel about all of these new shades. We'll do a little sit down and I will discuss because I didn't do that yesterday because I ended the wear test early because it looked like caca. So that's the new plan, round two. I'll see you guys in a few hours on the first check-in. It is 4.28 p.m., which means it has been about four and a half hours since I applied this color. So far, this is much closer to living up to my expectations based on my experience with the original shade Uncensored. It's comfortable, it hasn't moved, it hasn't faded. I ate lunch, I had a bowl of cauliflower rice with ground turkey and salsa and it hasn't moved. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see the real deal. This is faring much better so far. I do have to leave for the gym in about a half hour. Um, so I will pop back in and do a final check-in after I get home from the gym and possibly after I eat dinner. We will see. But so far, this color is 100% doing much better than the other one. All right, final check-in. It is 7.21 p.m., which brings us to seven hours and 20 minutes since I applied it. I just got home from the gym. I sweated my actual titties off. Actually, I still pretty much covered in sweat. Um, <laughs> honestly, this lipstick is still perfect. So, final conclusion. Um, the nude shades that came out and the dark brown, the chocolatey one unveil seem to be exactly identical formula-wise to the original shade Uncensored that I personally absolutely adored. The black shade, uninvited, however, I feel personally like it underperforms a little bit. It's not the worst lipstick in the world. And to be fair, I was wearing it under conditions, like I said earlier, I was eating salad. That's really tough conditions for a lipstick to live under. And normally I would give it a pass. However, the problem that I'm coming to here is that it, it looked raggedy, before I even got to the eating part. Like I was just sipping on a coffee through a straw and it was already patchy and it just kind of seemed almost like it was coming off without me actually doing anything. Like it was just like disappearing into the ether. Um, personally for me, uh, I, I feel like I love the lip paints in general, but I, I, if I had to skip one, I would definitely skip the black one. And if I had to recommend you a black liquid lipstick, I don't think that would be the one that would come to mind. If you did ask me what black liquid lipstick do you recommend, I would say Nabla Black Champagne or Kat Von D Witches. Those are my two favorite black liquid lipsticks. I actually have Nabla Black Champagne right here. Um, and I feel like you guys probably think I'm sponsored by Nabla at this point. I'm not, I swear I've never taken a dime from them. They do send me PR, but so do a lot of companies. I really think that their lip products are some of the best. So if you're looking for a black liquid lipstick that stays on really well and looks really even and very polished and perfect for the amount of time that you wanna wear it, the black champagne from Nabla is what I would reach for. The Fenty one is okay. It's an okay liquid lipstick. It's just not amazing. So yeah, it's not the worst black liquid lipstick in the entire world. It's not terrible, but it's not as good as the other Stunna lip paints. And it's not as good as some black liquid lipsticks that I already own. Unveil, the chocolate brown one is really pretty. And I can see myself wearing it a little bit, but unbutton and uncuffed. Is that the one that I'm wearing today? I can't remember and it's downstairs. Those are absolutely stunning. They are right up there with the original Uncensored in my opinion. So that's where I stand. That's what it is. And that's that. And I'm gonna go eat some dinner because it's been a long day. And that my sweet friends is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found the swatches and the wear test very helpful. Please do not forget to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it because that really helps me out and I would super appreciate it. Also, if you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe because I would love to have you around for more videos. I say that every time, but I mean it. If for some reason you feel like you need to keep up with me between videos, go ahead and follow me on other social media. I'm at Miss Quinfaith on every single platform you could ever, ever invent or imagine or think of ever in life. And uh, I use Instagram the most. I post on my stories all the time. I post all sorts of lip art, uh, close-ups of makeup we do here on YouTube, more intricate, like weird shit over there. If you're into that, come follow me. Say hello, let me know you found me on YouTube. I would love to have you around. 
Please go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know, do you have any of these new shades? Do you have the original? Are you looking at them? Do you love the Fenty Stun and Lip Paints as much as I do? Because um, Uncensored has like been my ride or die for over a year now and that is really saying something, you know? It's, it's a long time to be in love with one red lipstick. That's all for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.